So I get asked a lot, what does proper weightlifting tempo look like? We don't need to overcomplicate it. We don't need to make it more difficult than it is. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Dr. Jones, a holistic obesity expert, and I specialize in sustainable weight loss, where we utilize our favorite GLP-1 medications to focus on the underlying mechanisms that drive obesity, target those with lifestyle intervention, and help our patients wean off the meds. First of all, you hear my breath. And when you're weight training, if you are not losing your breath like this, where it's very difficult to sustain a conversation, you are not lifting with the proper intensity. This is not steady state cardiovascular exercise. Your heart rate, your intensity should get so high that you're pretty much at the border. Now I stopped a couple reps earlier because I'm still able to maintain this conversation. Truth be told, if I wasn't making this video for you guys, it'd be much harder for me. It would be downright impossible because that is the type of intensity you need to have. Now, what does intensity feel like? It's pain. And that pain is lactic acid building up in the muscle mass. In this particular exercise that I did, that was a shoulder press. And so I'm working these deltoid muscle groups and there's a burn, a burning sensation. And that is completely fine. Where people get mixed up though, is this concept of pushing through the pain. You are supposed to push through pain that's in the muscle fibers. But if, for example, if you're doing a curl, you should feel lots of burn there. But what you should not ignore would be pain that's in the joint. And this is very, very important to be able to understand the difference between pain in a joint and pain in the muscle fibers. And trust me, you will be able to tell because muscle fiber has a very sharp knife-like burn that is acid building up in the muscles. With the joints, you'll feel more of an achy dullness. Could be sometimes sharp, but very distinguishable between the muscle fibers. You should be able to, and you should strive for getting as much pain in the muscle groups as you can possibly fathom while paying attention to your joints and preserving them. And if you find yourself doing any sort of rank out, whether it be shoulder press, whether it be bent over rows, for example, do not ignore pain in your joint. Find an alternative exercise. There's a plethora of resources that you can do literally on Google or on YouTube. Find exercises and work through as much range of motion as you can where you're avoiding pain and feel the burn, guys. You will feel accomplished. It will be very beneficial for your sustainable weight loss. And we'll see you guys later.